Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's reports for the 25th. And again, we have pretty much a flat line. We, you know, we had this retrace to come back uh, from the positive extreme that took place, uh, well, right at the peak move. And we've been below the red line with the sign, which supports bullishness. Uh, the other thing we saw that was uh, countered to that was the declining steel below cyan usually creates some weakness at that particular point, uh, and it has. Uh, but we're still above the yellow ABM, and as long as that's the case, then it's just a matter of uh, sitting back. I mean, this has been a slow rise. Um, the only dip we've had below the ABM was that intraday move that took us to the uh, green line, and it's been, as soon as it moved right back above, it's a re-entry situation right to the same spot. So we're finally seeing an ease out of the shakeout. The question is how deep that goes. As long as it stays above the zero line, I would expect that we're going to continue the move that's taking place. The interesting part has been the weakness of the NASDAQ in relation to the S&P. Certainly more pronounced. You can see the shakeout certainly has gone into the negative territory. So that's the softest that we're really seeing in the market. That's uh, tech related. Euro's still holding up. It hasn't broken down. If it starts to break down below and get into the range that we've talked about below, then I, uh, below the 155 range, uh, one, 115 and a half, let's just say, uh, then I think we would have more uh, concerns. But this is helping to elevate the S&P because uh, the improved exchange rate certainly pads them as far as the dollar look. Uh, from a well, on the standpoint, 123 is still way elevated compared to where it should be. Uh, testing these lows, it should break down below it and continue lower, but it should have done that for a long time. Uh, USO, right back at the peaks again. This is uh, bullish for an indication of growth situation, and uh, I think it's only going to continue. Uh, it's been in a little bit of a soft area right here coming in, but needless to say, well above the green ABM, and even that would be um, fine. But the fact that it's, uh, well, not only been above below the magenta right there, but then moving back above the uh, ABM yellow, it's like pretty straightforward to the upside. Um, gold, again, maintaining its weakness. We're just waiting for the, the reset of the buy. The fact that we haven't seen a steel reset below, um, it's just an indication that we just don't have the uh, strength of buyers yet. And from a 5K standpoint here, we can see that uh, the range is getting, well, they're shrinking because it just isn't that much uh, taking place except for the day that we had the uh, little bit more of a strenuous rise and dip, you know, a little more activity. But we knew that it wasn't going to result in um, any improvement from the daily situation. And also we saw on the uh, setup that any weak buy was likely to get retraced back into it. And this is all that's happened. I mean, we're literally just literally back, back to the lows uh, from before. We're getting a reset right now. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. It should be able to give a little bit of a primary lift. Not expecting too much out of it, but we might get to uh, move back up uh, into the green territory would be what I'd be looking for. We're going to get shake out back into the positive range. This is the proper reset that you look for. The only problem you have is you didn't get a nice steel reset that uh, really would have indicated that you're going to have a, a good punch through. But uh, So the next step is to see uh, green and red break into new zones and cross over above cyan. So there's not a whole lot of interest just at this particular point. And there seems to be a little bit uh, more political turmoil taking place that I think could be adding to uh, some of it. The question really is, uh, the infighting that we're seeing, is it going to affect the tax results? Because it sounds like everybody's on board with the idea of getting some kind of tax reform. And I think that's really what the market's waiting to boost, though. Really, we don't have a whole lot past the you know, 25, you know, 75 range. Uh, Unless something major takes place, um, you're just going to be in a lot of uh, stagnation. I would call it just consolidation, which uh, this is that what we talked about, the slow ebb as we rise, but uh, a little bit at a time. So be patient with it. Not too concerned with uh, all the gloom and doom that's out there unless we see some material aspect change in um, the trajectory of the economy. I think that... Uh, in general, we have to have an upside bias at this particular point. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk again later.